Pittsburgh <laughs> at Indianapolis. I wanted to blow through this game. Like it's the third straight game featuring backup QBs, right? Third of three yeah. games that we've talked about it. Mitch Trubisky against Gardner Minshew. Normally, this is a smash Mike Tomlin spot. Rah, rah, yeah. Mike Tom Tomlin, Let's right? Go. Here's my concern. Is TJ Watt playing? Is Alex Highsmith playing? Both were in concussion That's protocol. Fair. Over the last two seasons, Steelers 15 and six straight up and against the spread with TJ Watt. One and six without him, two, four, and one against the spread. So, like, I worry without TJ Watt what this team can be. Yeah, that would change how I bet it. Um, luckily, we can't put this in the contest because it's definitely a game where I would try to force in. I know I'd wake up Saturday and be like, we got to get one of these games in. Let's let's get one of these games in. So luckily, we can't just because I like Pittsburgh here. I think you just nailed it. It's a good spot. It's a good Tomlin spot. Uh, two straight losses as favorites at home against two and what were they two and nine two and ten teams the Arizona and then the Patriots like just as low as it can get for this Pittsburgh team and um this is like the classic you know they've had extended week here to get right and Tomlin just been on them this whole time and this is why he's such a good motivator like you think these teams are dead they're not they're going to make it to the playoffs and they're going to beat the Ravens. And that's how the season is going to go for this Pittsburgh team. It's just, it's already written in stone. Like they're not going to make the playoffs. They're not going to beat the Ravens and none of it makes sense because it's football. So um, plus two and a half, I'll take it. Chad's right though. If, if Watt is out, I'm terrified of this spot. I probably won't have as much money on it, but right now I'm, I'm betting it and I'm betting it kind of heavy. So uh, I am in on Pittsburgh this week, but not going to make it Simon says just because if Watt is out, I could see this get up to three, three and a half if JJ Watt or TJ Watt's out. But why are you hitting it so hard if there's still a huge question mark about their best player? Because I could see it if he gets cleared and the pros come in on this, I see it going down to like a pick minus one. It feels like kind of like the Bucks Atlanta last week. And I don't want to miss that number where I got lucky. The number came back by the end of the week. And I was able to get the two and a half. I wanted on the Bucks, but um, here I don't think I'd get as lucky if those guys get cleared. And I know where you're coming from. I just I can't see TJ missing this game. Just it's just off extended rest. I can see him being back. Um, I mean, they push guys through concussion protocol in like six days, let alone ten. So I could just see him getting back for this one. 